Fabrizio Romano confirms Willian and Torreira are leaving. Arsenal have made it very clear to buy, they need to sell. And so today we'll get an update on the likes of Lucas Torreira, Willian, Sead Kalashnak and Eddie Nketiah and find out who else are Arsenal looking to sign. So join me in the latest episode of The Transfers FC. Yo, what is going on guys? My name is Baz14 and I understand that everyone is in recovery mode after yesterday's whatever that was. But as per to cheer your boy up, make sure to go down there and smash a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel if you are new because we are on the road to 60,000 subscribers and then you guys can make it happen. But getting into the after transfer news and starting off with the after departures. My friends, this is the key to any possible after incomings. Arsenal made it clear having signed five players. If they are to sign any more players, it is all down to players they can get outside the door. So first things first, as Fabrizio Romano has confirmed, Lucas Torreira to Fiorentina, deal set to be completed. Details confirmed as a 1.5 million euro loan fee and a 15 million euro buy option, green light from Arsenal and medical pending as per Chris Wheatley. And Torreira prefers Fiorentina over Eintracht Frankfurt and it's only a matter of hours. Mr. Here we go for Fabrizio giving the co sign to Chris Wheatley. It is confirmed as it stands, Torreira is on his way to Italy and Fiorentina. Fiorentina. Arsenal will get a cheeky little 1.5 million euro loan fee and if things went to plan Fiorentina can then sign the player on a permanent for 15 million euros next season. And even the main man Chris Wheatley says Torreira is close to signing for Fiorentina and the Uruguay midfielder has been training individually at London Conley since arriving back in London. A loan move with full salary being covered, most likely option at this stage. Arsenal have made it very clear to Torreira that he is not going to be part of their plans going into the season, hence why the player is training on his ones at the training ground. Eintracht Frankfurt are pushing half for Torreira and have raised the offer. The player's decision is expected today to see if he agrees to join the Germans, but Fiorentina are the most interested club in Italy, confirms a reliable Gianluca Di Marcio. And it seems as if Lucas has made his mind he wants to go back to Italy, having thrived there for Sampdoria all those years ago. And as South American reporter Cesar Luis Melo confirms, Lucas Torreira is one step away from signing with Fiorentina and the clubs are working on the final details of a loan with the option to buy with Arsenal. So Arsenal are close to an agreement with Torreira to go back to Italy and with Fiorentina. But do you guys think that is a fair deal for the Uruguayan international central defensive midfielder? And are you happy with the departure of Lucas Torreira? Fabrizio Romano has also confirmed that Corinthians have made an official bid to William confirms. He wants to leave Arsenal since May and he is now considering Corinthians proposal. William has never been in talks with Al Ali. Priority still to European clubs but Corinthians are pushing now. So Corinthians have made a bid to bring back Willian to Brazil but most importantly is his bid officially to Arsenal or to Willian the player because as things stand Willian still has two years left on his current Arsenal contract. But as Fabrizio Romano has later confirmed Arsenal will let him leave on a free transfer in order to save his salary. So if we are to save his salary does that mean that Arsenal are going to cancel the contract of Willian because in that case that would make a lot of sense. But will the player agree to those terms? We're going to have to wait and see. Even Jason Burt of The Telegraph confirms big chance that William will leave Arsenal and rejoin Brazilian club Corinthians on a free transfer. Jason Burt is a pretty reliable journalist when it comes to UK journals. And the player himself has posted a photo on his Instagram story watching the Corinthians game from yesterday against Atletico Paranense. So William himself is watching games of Corinthians. The club itself has made a bid to Arsenal and to the player. And in terms of Arsenal Football Club, they are openly considering letting go Willian on a free transfer. As things stand, Willian to Corinthians certainly looks like a massive, gargantuan possibility. And if Arsenal can get Willian's massive wages off the wage book, that gives Arsenal more space to operate when it comes to potential incomings and transfers inbound. But are you guys happy with the departure of Willian on a free transfer? Moving on, let's discuss the future of Mikel Arteta. And starting off with the reliable Matt Law, who is given an exclusive exclusive on the future of the Arsenal manager Mikel Arteta, the manager under so much pressure. As Matt Law of The Telegraph today has reported, Mikel Arteta has five games to turn Arsenal around or face the fight for his job. In terms of the reporter, he is normally pretty bang on when it comes to sackings and exclusives and the past he was bang on with the likes of Frank Lampard. 
and there's no surprise the Mikel Arteta is under massive pressure because you can say what you want about the Arsenal board and the Arsenal owners but in terms of this transfer window over £130 million spent that is more than any other club in the Premier League as things stand in their eyes they have backed Mikel Arteta and the need to see results on the pitch but in terms of Sammy Mokbo of the Daily Mail says that Arsenal's Chiefs are still backing Arteta acknowledging the Covid chaos that has engulfed the club and has been a major factor in the club's worrying start they want to give him enough time for his new signings to adapt one journalist is claiming that Arteta is fighting for his job but on the other hand others are claiming that Arteta is still being backed by the Arsenal board but the same report does claim the club are prepared to make a tough decision if results do not get better but the club do believe the Covid chaos has deprived the coach of putting his first team out so Arsenal are giving Arteta the benefit of the doubt simply because of the Covid chaos and they of course are referring to the likes of Lacazette and Ben White being missing yesterday and even the likes of Pierre Makubane missing the first game and not being fully fit to start the last game either and even John Cross says that Arsenal are determined to carry on backing Mikel Arteta despite the club's wretched start to the campaign so that's another journalist saying that Arsenal are still backing Mikel Arteta make of that what you will and even the reliable Fabrizio Romano and even and even Fabrizio Romano has confirmed as of now Arsenal are backing Mikel Arteta and they trust a lot of fans don't trust the so-called process but in terms of the Arsenal board and the Arsenal owners they are massive fans of this process train and they believe that Mikel Arteta as things stand is still the right guy to guide Arsenal back towards the Champions League places but then saying that my friends the next game is Man City away and as expected if Arsenal lose that game Arsenal could be going into the international break off the back of three losses in a row to start the season and potentially dare I even say rock bottom of the Premier League table would Arsenal still be willing to back Mikel Arteta after that we are gonna have to wait and see but what's your own thoughts on the Arsenal manager do you believe it's time to go or are you willing to give him time to get the likes of Ben White Gabriel Magalhaes Thomas Partey Lacazette back into the team and then judge the Arsenal manager this my friends I'll leave to you guys down below in the comments David Ornstein via the Athletic has confirmed that Patrick Vieira is ready to pay 10 million pounds for Eddie Nketiah to get him to Crystal Palace Arsenal value the forward at 20 million pounds Brighton and the unnamed Bundesliga side are also interested if Enketia is to leave Arsenal Football Club, Arsenal are going to have to compromise because there is no chance that anybody is paying £20 million for young Eddie Enketia, especially after his injury. And maybe if Arsenal can compromise £15 to £12 million, I think that's fair for a player one year left on his contract. If we can get Enketia out of the door, that of course opens up a striking position and that can then open up the possibility of Arsenal signing a brand new centre forward. But at £10 to £12 million, do you think that is a fair price? Ferdi and Ketia, yes or no, down below in the comments. Sammy Mokpo has confirmed that the Gunners are keen on signing a new right back, which could open the door for Hector Bellerin to leave, with Kieran Trippier a target, although Atletico Madrid's valuation of the England hero is a stumbling block. At 31 years of age, Atletico Madrid won a considerable amount for Kieran Trippier. My friends, we're talking upwards of £20 million. And with Hector Bellerin once again not being involved yesterday in Arsenal's game versus Chelsea, does it confirm that he is is on his way of Arsenal for his sake and our sake I really do hope so but what right back do you guys have in mind for Arsenal to sign in this transfer window Fabrizio Romano says there are chances of Eduardo Camavinga to leave Ren in the final eight days of the transfer market he'll not sign a new contract at Ren so they are open to selling Camavinga for a 35 million euro fee it depends on the offers in the next few days open race Eduardo Camavinga this generational apparent talent is still on the transfer market and at the price tag of 35 million euros is that something that Arsenal could look into now as confirmed in the past Arsenal definitely are massive admirers of the French international but at the same time having signed Albert Samuel Conga and Arsenal set to give Rana Xhaka a brand new contract extension as much as I would love to see Eduardo Camavinga at the Emirates Stadium my friends I just simply don't see this happening but if it came down to you guys for a fee of 35 million euros is Eduardo Camavinga of interest to yourself okay then moving on to the other Arsenal news today and starting off with quotes from the current Arsenal manager Mikel Arteta who after the game on the Covid effect in the team selection says it looks
looks like the group today is the one we'll have for the rest of the week. And on transfers, anything can happen. We can have players in or out. So Mikel Arteta has left the door open to potential incomings and transfers. And on the Arsenal team news, he's confirmed the players available to him now will be the players available to him in a week's time against Man City. And Arteta also says that Ben White is unlikely to feature against Man City next week. Ben White's out, potentially Lacazette as well. Of course, the likes of Thomas Partey and Gabriel Magalhães are also still injured. Gabriel Martinelli and Carantini walking off the pitch yesterday also with injuries. Up against the Premier League champions, this is going to be a very, 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 very sticky occasion. Fabrizio Romano confirmed the talks are ongoing between Arsenal and Fenerbahce for Sied Kalajnak are confirmed. The two clubs are in contact, but the agreement is not completed or signed yet. Kalajnak is among the players set to leave Arsenal with Terreira, Willian and Bellerin. If Arsenal get rid of Kalajnak, Willian, Terreira and Bellerin, for me that opens up enough space for a brand new signing. And personally, I think that is going to be a right back. Personally, I don't see who Arsenal sign a centre forward with the amount of time left in the transfer window, especially at the players that Arsenal being linked with. But in terms of that right back, let's just say Arsenal were to sign it. A question for you guys to answer down below. Do you guys think the Arsenal squad is good enough to compete with the top six? Or dare I even say the top four? And that being regardless of the Arsenal manager. But that is the video then there. If you guys have enjoyed, make sure to go down there and smash a like on it. And while you are down there, please do consider subscribing to your boy's channel. If you want to follow your boy on them social medias, then the links will be down below in the description. But that was the latest episode of the Transfers FC. Outgoings FC, Terreira, William, Kalajnak, Bellerin, and the potentially one little incoming as well. My guys, I will see you guys soon in a bit.